Hello there, Insomaniacs, and welcome back for more Pokemon Diamond Nuzlocke with Konisport. What is it with this Team Galactic? Why did they take our Pokemon? What are they trying to accomplish? Oh, look here, we have a Clefairy and a Baneri. Ah, look at that, a purple hat lady. Well, this person looks important. Okay, another Nuzlocke warning. You better grind before this person. Just like Commander Mars, if you are unprepared, this is another famous Nuzlocke killer. Especially in Platinum. Especially in Pokemon Platinum. Hey, yeah, did you want something? How silly of me to even ask. You want to free the Pokemon. Yeah, that's gonna happen. Yeah, that is going to happen, lady. Okay. So, another Commander Battle, as an exercise. And as I already said with Mars, Commander Battles are brutal. Okay. Uh, Zubat knows Giga Drain, so you better take it down quick. Yeah, don't... Yeah, it's actually pretty scary in that you think about it. Giga Drain is probably something like a TM thought move or something. You won't expect a Zubat to know Giga Drain. It can catch you off guard the first time you're playing the game. In Platinum, she is a lot tougher. I believe her main Pokemon is level 23 in there. Luckily, in Diamond and Pearl, which is the game I'm playing now, um, her main Pokemon, which we're about to see, is only level 20. Do not take it lightly though, it's still a big trap. Okay, next we have Skunk Tang. I think this is a Poison Dark type. Which means it only has uh, a very few weaknesses. One of its weaknesses is Ground, and by goodness me, you will not have a Ground move at this point of the game. Ooh, joy! Anyway, this thing is a physical sweep sweeper, so you better have something to, you know... What's that called? Ah, stop that! You better have a... You better have something to... That can tank physical hits, or you are going to get it big time! Big time! Okay, it knows the move Night Slash, Screech, uh, Smoke Screen, and I can't remember the last one. It could be Faint Attack or something. So yeah. Well, the problem is none of my Pokemon are really physically defensive, so... I'm just gonna have to hope for the best here. As I said, it's level 23 in Platinum. Freaking 23. She's definitely tougher than Gardenia in Platinum. Here, it's a little bit so-so. She likes to lower your accuracy, which sucks because, you know, my, me and my luck with accuracy, honestly, is a win-win game at the best. Ah, Poison Gas, that's its last move, not Faint Attack. How insolent, take a bite of this, child. Anyway, I, re I recommend lowering its own accuracy or something, otherwise you're going to get it. Night Slash is a move with a high critical hit ratio. Oh, look at that! It's gonna heal with a citrus berry! I should have seen it coming. Paralyzed, can move! Ha 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 As I said, paralyze it! Try to paralyze it, because it's a very fast Pokemon and paralysis will make it slower, you know? Ooh, joy, not poison. You know me and my luck with poisoning. It sucks. It really does suck. Oh well, actually kind of think of it, Damien is actually quite uh, physically defensive, so I might send him out. Yeah, Intimidate, lower its attack even more, ha 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 ha. Oh crap, now it's using its signature move, Night Slash. This is the move with a high critical hit ratio. But because I intimidated it a lot, and Damien's physical defense is now super high, eh heh heh, it's gone, oh boy. Yeah, it could have gone a lot worse. If it had managed to get a Night Slash off on something like Ryoko or Tajiu, well, how would I say this? It's gonna hurt. For them, it's gonna hurt. A lot. A freaking lot. And there she goes. Lucky me, losing to some child, being careless cost me too much. Yeah, it could have gone a lot worse. As I said, in Platinum, it's level 23 there, so you better have a strategy there. Well, aren't you tough? It's okay, so our official Pokemon statue investigation is finished. Mars has collected energy from the Valley Windworks. We're pretty much finished here. I'll let you in on one little thing. Our boss is researching the myths of ancient Pokemon. With the power of mythical Pokemon, he will become the ruler of Sinnoh. 
I suggest you keep up with Team Galactic affairs from now on. Well, that was a big move with with Slash. Well, this is your last warning. Bye bye. I got my Clefairy back, and it's all thanks to you. But the Team Galactic, they said Clefairy came from space. Hand it over. Their logic baffles me still. It's like they're from space. Anyway, they're gone now. Thank you very much. I can't thank you enough right now. But cruise by my psycho shop, okay? Oh, poisoning. I forgot about that. Well, time to use one of my many, many, many petra berries. A uh, fun fact, you can't actually faint from poisoning in this game, but it still nerfs Rex me anyway. Ah, uh, look, now the Eternal City team is playing here. I guess everyone has abandoned their post. And there's nothing on the screen too. Anything in the bins? Nope. Ah. And with that, we're officially done with Eternal City, folks. Uh, for the most part. I believe there's still one item I haven't gotten yet. Let me see, where is it? Um... Oh, come on! Where is the item? I saw it to the south of the gym. Oh, man. I see here, here, here. How am I supposed to get this? I want to get that item, man. I want to. Oh, you know what? I I'm going to get that item one way or another. It's mine. It's mine, you hear? Then exit somewhere here. No. Come on. Come on, game. Ah, freak. Oh, that was a waste of time. How am I supposed to get that? Oh! Oh, really? Well, that was my bad. <laughs> Conan's found a super potion. Yeah, you can actually run through here. I never saw that. It's the angle, man. It's the angle. See? Okay, now that we got an almost everything we want in Eternal City. Um, yeah, let's go here. Anything else? Anything new here? No. Nothing? Nothing at all? Uh, Eternal City History Living. Well, what road is this? Route 211. You gotta be kidding me. That is definitely the wrong direction. Anyway, um, let's actually head to the cycle shop, man. Ah, that's what I'm talking about. What was Team Galactic trying to do with other people's Pokemon? Thanks for asking me, this is something to show my thanks. It's the latest model bicycle, you must take it, I insist! Conus obtained the bicycle! It's the latest model, so I'll read the operating manual to you. Press the B button to shift up or down. In third gear, you can't go at it fast, but it's easier to control. In fourth gear, it gets harder to steer and shop, but it's fast. Uh, I should show it off. Okay, let's head to the back. And let's cycle, 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 cycle. Ah, okay, I'll heal first, I'll heal first. I can hear you guys screaming at me. Conus, it's a Nuzlocke, please freaking heal! Yes, I would like to heal, thank you very much. Yes, I said I would like to heal. Okay, I think I'll go on for a few seconds. And I am healing. Okay, there we go. Thank you for waiting, you restored a Pokemon to full health. We hope to see you again! Ah, that's what I like to see. Okay, now I, let's actually get the bicycle. Let's register the bicycle. Okay, so this is the bicycle. As you can see, the bicycle is slightly different from the regular bicycle. What's this? Oh wow, you got a bicycle! You can ride down cycling road and end up in Hard Dome City. It's a fast and fun ride, you should check it out. What do you mean I can't head to my left? Oh, game, please. Anyway, this is the third gear. It's not so fast. In fact, it's slower than the regular bicycle in some game. But if you move at the fourth gear, look at that. That is speed, but it's harder to control, like he said. So for the matter of the fact, switching gears is actually very important. Okay, let's actually head downwards. Oh, one thing I forgot to say about Pokemon Diamond and Pearl. When you enter a gate in Diamond and Pearl, 
you lose your freaking bicycle. I don't get why that happens, but they fixed it in platinum, so all's well. Conan, long time no see. Oh, you look puzzled. You're wondering who I am. I'm Professor Rowan's assistant and Dawn's father. I forgot about you already. I come a long way to help you on your adventure at the professor's behest. Conan, let me ask you, how many Pokemon have you met? Oh my, you met 44 Pokemon. Wonderful, yes, bravo. Professor Rowan shall be delighted. Here's something for you. Obtain the experience share. A Pokemon holding the experience share will be given some of the experience points from battle. It will get experience points even if it didn't actually battle. I would say an experience share is quite useful for raising weak Pokemon. Also, a Pokemon you get in a trade may disobey you if it's too high a level. Don't worry though, it will obey if you have enough gym badges. Learn how to shift gears and you'll be able to ride anywhere. Learn how to shift gears and you'll be able to ride anywhere. Thank you. Uh, Route 206. This is Cycling Road. You are forced. To have your bicycle here. Yeah. Yo, having a good time cycling. I was going to demonstrate something, game. Ah, uh, fine. Uh, cyclist Axel sent out Star Ravia. Well, look at that. <laughs> it's dead. I forgot to switch out White Lion and look at this thing. It's it's finished. Uh, Star Ravia has Intimidate though, which is kind of sad because I depend on attack power too. Bye bye, Staravia. Let's see you take a spark to the face. It may survive though, as you have probably seen in my battle with Commander Jupiter. Staravia's physical defense is actually higher. Okay, never mind. I, I hit a crit on it. Staravia's physical defense is actually quite respectable. I mean, it tanked the Night Slash. And we all know Night Slash is that super overpowered move that Commander Jupiter has. Hey, not bad, you. Anyway, yeah, Cycling Road, you know the typical. You zoom down! Cycling roads, teaming with Pokemon trainers too. Oh, by the way, how you guys like the like the theme playing in Cycling Road? Cycling Road, Cycling, cycling Route, Cycling Road, whatever! If you enjoyed this episode of Let's Play Pokemon Diamond Nuzlocke with Konis, do feel free to leave a like or subscribe to Instomania Games to keep on the Instomania. And next time we're gonna take on Route 206, Cycling Road.